Blessings, dear friends, friends at school, friends at home, friends from Cardinal Ambrosic, from St. Patrick's School, from Our Lady of Lourdes, from Holy Spirit School, from Father Francis McSpirit School, and again, last but not least, St. Andre Besset. And so here, this is Father Vito in the chapel that we saw last week, and we're together for a time of prayer and reflection. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Last Sunday, which was the second Sunday of Lent, the Gospel of St. Mark talked about Jesus leading three of his disciples, Peter, James, and John, to a high mountain on the peak of the mountain, Mount Tabor, which is about an hour's drive from Nazareth. And it's a mountain that stands all on its own. <clears throat> and while they were there, something precious happened. The Gospels tell us that he was transfigured, he was changed into something marvelous and beautiful. And the disciples saw also from the Old Testament, Moses and Elijah that came and spoke to Jesus. Now, the vision was so beautiful that St. Peter said to Jesus, let me build three tents here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. Because when we experience something wonderful, we want to stay there. Now, I want to talk a little bit about that, but in connection to prayer. Now, when Jesus prayed, as did the people in the time of Jesus and many early Christians, they would pray with their hands like this which was a sign of surrendering to God. And you see the priest many times at church praying like this, and people as well, some people do that. And that's what prayer is, putting everything in the hands of God. So I'm going to ask all of you who wish to join me now in putting our hands like this and praying together the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Now we pray in many ways. We can pray sitting down, we can pray standing up, we can pray kneeling down. Prayer is prayer, but our bodies also pray. So I showed you this way. And quite often when we learned how to pray from early years, since we were children, we would pray like this. And that's how many people still pray today. Now, I want you to look at your hands as they are this way. And remembering the story of the mountain doesn't the way we place our hands now look like a mountain. Very, very important. The mountain is a wonderful symbol. It's when the earth tries to reach heaven. And so mountains become a symbol of our prayer. And not only on the mountain of the transfiguration, but there are many, many mountains in the Bible. And Jesus quite often would go and pray on the mountains at nighttime or in many, many other, other times. When we looked at the desert experience, Jesus was in the desert. And there are mountains in the desert that can tell us today specifically where Jesus was. So now we have our hands like this. Let's say another prayer with our hands like this. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. So when we look at the earth trying to reach heaven, and we have our hands like this, we see the mountains, it also reminds us that um, we need to look above not only with our heads up but look above 
go beyond. When the disciples were on the mountain, everything around them was beautiful. And sometimes when we go a step beyond or a step above things, we see the beauty of things through the light of heaven. So if we have issues in our life that bring us down, we should pray, Lord, bring me with you to the mountain. Help me rise above the experience I'm having here. Help me go beyond what are the issues of everyday life. Okay, so we look forward to seeing you again next week. And God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.